fireworks in city could cost you $250 a pop. One more COVID case here, four more recovered. Three car crash results in injuries. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Thursday, July 2nd, 2020. Want to lose $250 in a flash or bang? You could. That fine comes for every violation of Sheboygan's ordinances against the illegal discharge of fireworks in the city. With most public displays nixed due to the coronavirus pandemic, the Sheboygan Police Department says they are ready for the strict enforcement of the ordinance that prohibits the use or possession of fireworks, which means anything manufactured, processed, or packaged for exploding, emitting sparks, or combustion, which does not have another common use. Additionally, no person may sell, possess, use, or discharge any fireworks within the city except those that are specifically approved by the Common Council and conducted by or on behalf of the city. They emphasize that this applies regardless if they purchased and possessed legally in other parts of the state. Much of Sheboygan County abides by the state law that does allow fireworks, but only those that stay on the ground. The Sheboygan Police Department says it is all about preventing the risk of personal injury, fire, and disturbing the peace and tranquility of neighbors. So just don't. Rescue crews were called to a three-car crash near Festival of Foods in Sheboygan on Wednesday night. Sheboygan police say it happened just before 7 p.m. when a car heading south tried to turn left into the Taylor Heights Shopping Center at the stoplights. The driver of the car pulled into the path of a northbound car and the impact of the crash pushed those two vehicles into a third vehicle waiting at the light. The driver of the southbound car had to be freed by the jaws of life and the 25-year-old woman nearing the northbound car and her five-year-old passenger were both taken to the hospital for treatment of minor injuries. The 25-year-old Sheboygan man who attempted the left turn was cited for failure to yield at the right of way. One more positive result accompanied by 426 negative results were received by the Sheboygan County Division of Public Health according to the Wednesday Daily Report. Four more persons have recovered, leaving 19 cases currently active in the county with no hospitalizations. 210 confirmed cases of COVID-19 have now been detected in the county and 187 have recovered and four have died. Included among the stats reported yesterday are those resulting from testing of the staff of correctional facility. Those tests, all negative, comprise of 270 of the day's total tests. Sheboygan County remains in phase two of its safe restart program. And due to the upcoming holiday, this week's report concerning that will be issued today instead of Friday. And that report will be published. The latest readings of the benchmark criteria used to trigger the next phase of the safe restart program. Wisconsin has recorded an additional 540 cases of the coronavirus, comprising 4.3% of all test returns, leaving 12,068 negative results, and another two persons have died, raising the statistics of COVID-19 death toll to 786. The County Division of Health Services noted that a change is anticipated on Friday concerning how the Wisconsin Department of Health Services reports their facility-wide investigations 
Until now, only names of long-term care facility investigations were released to the public by name. But the beginning of Friday, the publication of the names of all facility-wide investigations will be provided if there are two or more cases detected within one facility. County DHS also recommends the public that COVID-19 is still very conscious and continued vigilance by everyone is needed to control the spread. Mass gatherings are not advised at this time, especially given the Independence Day holiday, and there is no projected time frame available as to when the advisory will change. People are safer at home, and trips should still be limited to the only the essentials, putting at least six feet in between each person. When that is possible or impossible, a cloth face mask covering should be worn at all times. And the only noted exceptions are unless it is unsafe, such as for a child under the age of two or those with respiratory problems. Also avoid hand washing frequently and avoid touching your face and enjoy the outdoors safely. Group camping for our groups of 50 or less will again begin allowed in the state parks beginning on Wednesday, July 13th. The Wisconsin DNR made the change and others as steps to manage the coronavirus pandemic and have been advanced. Those wishing to use the group campgrounds will need reservations in advance at any shelter, amphitheater, or group camping reservations that were made up through July 12th will be canceled and refunded. And if you made a reservation that was beyond the 13th, it will be automatically readjusted to your account from be the beginning of that day. Other changes made by the DNR include the sale of firework or firewood at the state select state parks. Limited special events for up to 50 people will be okay and you will now be able to use open air shelters without taking reservations and social distancing are observed. To make those camping reservations online, visit HTP, HTTPS wisconsin.goingtocamp or call 1-888-947-2757. The Sheboygan County Memorial Hospital as of today becomes one of the select group given to special attention by National Weather Service forecasters. Our airport is joined today by the Southern Wisconsin Regional Airport near Janesville in becoming the state TAF sites. TAF stands for Terminal Aerodrome forecast a 24 to 30 hour service forecast for five nautical mile radius around the sun of the many airports around the country only a handful are designed as TAF sites before now the airport used a computer generated product called a meter which is simply an out hourly snapshot of current conditions the TAF though is a forecast produced by humans updated at least six, four times a day every six hours and they take it into account local small scale geographical side effects. The upgrade is the latest in a series of important and the airport ground was broken late last year for a five million dollar customs and terminal building slated for the completion of this month that will allow international flights through to fly directly to the airport and runway improvements will allow access by the craft as large as DC-3 
And finally, Maywood announces a move to the Earth Miles for Maywood, a fundraiser outdoor activity fundraiser that will take place throughout the month of September. Proceeds will even go to support environmental educational programs and the park improvement projects. This event will take place on the 21st annual Earth Ride event scheduled for September 19th, 2020. Earth Miles 4 play Maywood will allow participants to show their support of Maywood while participating in their favorite outdoors activities such as running, biking, walking, and paddling. Participants will be able to choose their ac activities, the date and the time to participate, and where they participate. The decision to move to a virtual event came after looking at the many aspects of the Maywood Earth Ride and the health concerns around COVID-19. The Maywood Earth Ride drew approximately 400 years and 150 years who helped me raise financial funds for our environmental educational programs as a dark as a park project after considering several possibilities to adapt our traditional earth ride we determined to move to a virtual event for 2020 was the safest option for our participants and volunteers host sites and staff we hope to bring the maywood earth ridge ride back in 2021 said that angie dole maywood trust administrator the proceeds of earth miles for maywood will continue to support maywood's program and projects that foster environmental stewardship through educational and outdoor activities that connect our community with the natural world information and registration options for the virtual earth miles for pro program for Maywood can be found at www.gomaywood.org or by emailing maywood at sheboyganwi.gov. And that is our report for today. Join me again on Tuesday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV. This is Community News Review. Service. News content for this program.